Hey guys! So I know this is a little bit overdue, but I thought it would be fun to do a what I got for Christmas video. I wasn't originally going to do one, but I've been watching everyone else's and it's just a lot of fun. So I thought I would show you guys what I got and tell you guys what of it I have used already and give like mini reviews if I've used something. So yeah, I don't know. I'll just get right into it. Um, I'm not going to talk about everything that I got for Christmas. Um, because that might just be a little bit ridiculous, but I thought I'd talk about like the beauty and fashion things and maybe just a couple fun extras. So I will start with Lush. The first thing that I got from Lush is their sugar scrub, which is kind of gross right now because I've used it a couple days, so I just took it out of my shower. But I have only used the sugar scrub a couple of days, but I really like it. I wasn't really using much to exfoliate before. Um, and it really just makes my skin feel really like soft and smooth, like I'm really taking care of it. So I like the sugar scrub. Um, the next thing that I got from Lush is still in its little bag, and it's a uh, bubble bar, I think, and it's going to get everywhere. It's this glitter bubble bar, and when you take it out of its package, it gets glitter everywhere. Um, but I'm really excited to use that. And then the last thing that I got from Lush is a bath bomb. And it is this awesome glittery spaceship one. I guess it's not a spaceship, it's like a planet or something. But it smells really good and it's all glittery. And I've only ever had one bath bomb before, so I was really excited about this one. Okay, so now for stuff from Bath & Body Works. The first thing I got from Bath & Body Works was a soap, and it is the Sparkling Pink Champagne Soap. Um, next I just got some candles. So I got a medium-sized holiday candle, which is maybe my new favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. I love it. It's like really spicy and kind of cinnamony. It's so good. Um, then I got Spiced Apple Toddy, which we have been uh, doing on the candle warmer a lot. It's got like a big dent in it already. That one's really nice. Um, then I just got some little ones in my stocking. I got spiced cider, hot buttered rum, and spice. As you guys can tell, I really like the spicy scents lately. So yeah, those are all my candles from Bath & Body Works. Next I'll show you guys some of the makeup stuff that I got from my family. The first thing I got was in my stocking and it was the Ulta OPI Stuff My Stocking. And I have already talked about this little green nail polish in here in my top five winter nail polishes video, but I really like all of these and I'm excited to use them. And I just think it's a really cute little idea. I know that this was fairly inexpensive and it's got really good colors in it. I got one other nail polish and it's from China Glaze and it is called Gothic Lolita. And it is this awesome purple. The next thing I got was an Urban Decay eyeshadow and this is my first single Urban Decay eyeshadow. I have a couple of palettes but I have never got just a single eyeshadow before and I love this color. I have a lot of things that are this color because I think that it goes really well with my like skin and hair. But this is in the color Minx and it looks like this. It is this beautiful like teal shimmer. Ooh. That's what it looks like swatched super pigmented and just really like soft and light. I think that it's going to be a really awesome eyeshadow to use. Okay, the next thing I got was from my mom and I wasn't expecting it and I really, really loved it. And it was the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip Lip Sampler. It looks like this. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this before, but this is what the inside looks like. I've already taken one out. That's what the inside looks like. And um, it just has like these six products in it so that you can sample different brands and different kinds of lip products. So inside it's got a fresh sugar scrub, a Sephora gloss, a Bite gloss, a Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, I, I hope that's how you say it, gloss, an hourglass gloss, and then a Tarte lip surgeons and if you have watched my videos at all you know I'm in love with chart lip surgeons. I immediately took it out of here and put it in my purse and I've been wearing it like every day since then. Um, but yes, super excited about this one in the color Hope. So I'll let you guys know how that one is um, and I'll let you guys know how the rest of these glo glosses are once I try them. 
So based on my reaction to the Give Me Some Lip Lip Sampler, it is no surprise that I was really excited to get this um, little Tarte sampler thing. And this is called The Standouts. It's a limited edition bestsellers kit. I've taken this one out before and I have used the products, but I went ahead and put it back in the wrapping so that I could show you guys how nicely it was wrapped. So it's in this little tissue paper. And then inside it comes with a uh, Tarte Emphasize eyeliner and a brush. This one is in the color bronze, so it looks like that. Yep, as you can see, I've used it a couple times. I haven't tried it with this brush yet, though. I was using my own brush. And then this also comes with a sample size of Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes, which is Haley, my best friend's favorite mascara. So I was really excited to try this. I've worn it a couple times, and I really, really like it. It's really good. Um, and then lastly, of course, my Tarte Lip Surgeons, and this one's in the color Pouty, and I'm really excited to use this one too. I haven't worn this one yet, so I'm excited. So another thing that I got from my parents that I thought was really exciting was this necklace, and I picked it out on Etsy a long, long time ago, um, like before my birthday, and I kind of just thought that um, everyone had forgotten about it and then I got it for Christmas and I was so excited. I'll probably wear this today now that I like took it out of um, the box and everything. But it is a Harry Potter Deathly Hollows necklace. So it has like triangle, a circle, and then the wand in front. And these are just little charms. So I could put these on another chain if I wanted to. Um, I probably will to make them longer. But all in all, I love this necklace. I was so excited, and I wasn't expecting it at all. So, yeah, you can find this necklace on Etsy if you are a Harry Potter fan. So I got a couple things from Kendall's family. Um, they did a big white elephant gift exchange, and I got a new Tempur-Pedic pillow from that, and I was pretty excited about that. Um, but his grandma also gave me a really very kind gift that I wasn't expecting at all. Um, it looked like this. So the first thing that she gave me was this J.R. Watkins lotion. It's hand and body lotion and it's aloe and green tea. It smells really good. And I think that this is one of those uh, super natural brands. It says paraben, paraben, it says paraben free, phytolate free, propylene glycol free and dye free and I'm sure I just butchered some of those words but it also says 98.02% natural this is a brand that I've gotten in my birch box before and I was just really excited to see this um, from Kendall's grandma especially when I wasn't expecting it at all it was just a really nice gesture um, and then huh, if that wasn't enough she also got me some adorable little earrings and I will show you guys those also this is just one of them but they are just these little, it's just these little dangly earrings in kind of earth tones. So then Kendall's eight-year-old niece, Bailey, got me this beautiful jewelry stand. Um, it's kind of like a little, it's just a little ballerina, so it has little shoes at the bottom and then this pretty skirt and everything. I just thought that was so pretty, so thanks, Bailey. Yay. Another thing that I got from my parents that I forgot to mention was this little purse organizer. Um, I've had a purse organizer before, but it was a little bit smaller than this one, and it didn't really work for most of my purses. So this one's a little bit bigger, and I'm really excited to try it out. I'll let you guys know how it is. The first things Kendall got me were CDs. He got me these two, the Lumineers and Alt-J. And I think in my last favorites video, I talked about how much I was loving Alt-J. Now that I've heard their whole album, I love them even more. It's a pretty alternative band. If you like alternative music, though, you should definitely check them out because their music is something pretty special. It's awesome. <laughs> Kendall also got me a little Mama Sheba keychain, which is like sitting over here somewhere, if you can see it. And Kendall's big present for me was a little black bag, so I don't have that with me right now. I have finished trading and everything, so I know what all of my items are going to be. 
but I am like beyond excited. It was like the best little black bag ever. The shipping is taking forever and I'm getting so anxious, but I will be sure to do a video when I get that in to show you guys um, what gifts I got from Little Black Bag from Kendall. Okay, so I am nearing the end of this video. I'm going to go ahead and show you the clothes that I got. The first clothing item I got is this shirt from Forever 21. It's really just a gray baggy t-shirt, but it has these like silver studs all over the entire front of the top. Um, and then it's got a little pocket in front right there. The next thing that I received from Forever 21 is this dress, which is beautiful. It's all black. It has kind of a little bit floofier skirt at the bottom. And then it's got a lace overlay over the entire thing. So the sleeves are just lace, um, but the lace goes all the way down. I love this dress. It's really pretty. It's really feminine, and I can wear it in a lot of different situations. So, love this one. It's this little black leather vest, and it is full length. It goes down to my hips, and it has studs around the collar. I don't know. I just think it's super cute. It's super functional. I can use it to, like dress things up or down. I don't know. I just think that this is super cute. The next clothing items I got are from Victoria's Secret and the first thing I got are these two t-shirts. They're just really long, really soft, really comfortable v-neck t-shirts. I got two, one in gray and one in this kind of light blue. So I love these. The next things I got from Victoria's Secret are these little like bralettes and they're super pretty. I got this one in like a cream color and then this one in a super shimmery black. And these are just awesome to wear like under sheer tops or under any top where the lace is going to poke out over the front. You could wear it instead of a cami. I just think they're really super pretty. I got a lot of other things for Christmas. I got some... I got some old copies of the Lord of the Rings books, which are really cool because they have fold-out maps, and I got a ton of different copies of Alice in Wonderland. I got an Alice in Wonderland record and Alice in Wonderland paper dolls, and that was pretty exciting. If you guys are ever interested in seeing my Alice in Wonderland book collection, um, I think I showed it in like my first video, but yeah, I collect Alice in Wonderland books, and they're all really cool in their own way, and I got a bunch more for Christmas. I also got a ton of instruments for music therapy because I'm getting towards the end of my college career, and then I'm going to need to go and, like, find my internship and my job, and I will need instruments to be a music therapist. So I got a ton of instruments for Christmas. And lastly, I got a ton of movies. Kendall and I have been considering doing like a joint video at the end of every week that talk, where we talk about the movies that we've been watching and we do reviews of those movies and things like that. I don't know if you guys are interested in that at all, especially since this has been mainly a beauty channel, but if anyone is interested in hearing our takes on movies and our reviews on movies, I'd love to talk about that. I'd say that over winter break, we watch a movie at least every day. We really like movies. We watch a lot of movies. We try and keep up on the new movies. And yeah, if you're interested in having reviews of movies on this channel, uh, you should let me know if that is something that you'd be interested in. So yeah, that is going to be all for my What I Got for Christmas video. If you guys want to leave a comment below telling me what you got for Christmas or what you got for any other holiday that you may celebrate, I know I would really like to see that. Or if you're really cool, you could leave a video response. Um, and I just really like to see those things from you guys. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Okay, so I forgot to mention one last awesome thing that I got and that is this Alice in Wonderland iPhone case looks like this and it is the best present ever so that is it and I'll talk to you guys later bye